He's known as the Candleman among family and friends. Got a room. I call it the Candle Factory. <laughs> the chance to create colorful art from scratch, a place he now seeks as an escape. I've got a history of cancer in my family. And sadly, Harold Wellbaum was going to face a similar reality. The 73-year-old started seeing symptoms in early 2013, which led doctors to take some tests. Scan showed the thrombus, the cancer going from his kidney up his vena cava. Soon after, the Wellbombs sought guidance from UT Southwestern urologist Dr. Arthur Sagalowski. It was so progressed that he didn't feel like he could do surgery on it, and he sent us to Dr. Brugarolas. And so the difficult journey began. Harold says he doesn't recall much of it due to memory loss from a stroke he had years prior, but Kay remembers it all too well. Harold tried several lines of therapy, prolonging his life, but in early 2016, the cancer took a turn for the worse. We put him in a wheelchair and we rolled him in and he was practically passing out in the wheelchair. He was just, could, could not even communicate. So Dr. Bugarola suggested that we might want to look at hospice. A place you're sent when time is running out. I assumed that we had a few months left to live. But the story doesn't end there. He was doing so much better. He was walking around, he was cracking jokes, which he always does, and we were amazed. Just a few months later, something miraculous happened. Harold's body was no longer shutting down. In fact, quite the opposite. They did scans and it was totally amazing. Just a miracle, really. These scans are of Harold's lungs. This one on the left was before doctors started Harold on his fourth line of treatment, a drug called nivolumab. It is used to boost the body's immune system. The second scan showing progression of the cancer. Most of Harold's left lung was filled with tumors. This was taken after his second infusion with nivolumab along with stereotactic radiation. And this scan was taken after six months in hospice. You can see most of the left lung cleared up. Though he's not cancer free, the results are remarkable. We've never seen something like that after this kind of story. It's incredible. Dr. Roy Elias is in his first year after medical school and is putting a report together on Harold's case for UT Southwestern's kidney cancer program. Cases like this are important to know about because they allow us to, to study why it responded in this respect with Mr. Wellbaum and maybe other patients who have similar genetics and similar predispositions might respond in such a favorable manner as well. Something investigators here at the Kidney Cancer Program are following. Dr. Rakib Hanan is now exploring the potential of including stereotactic radiation with nivolumab to figure out how this could significantly benefit other patients. Though doctors might not be able to explain the results just yet. I believe that God had a hand in it. This survivor says he's lucky to be where he is today. I'm very grateful. It's been first rate. It's, I mean, they've been as professional as they could be. He's thankful not only for the excellent doctors and cutting edge treatments here at UT Southwestern, but for the woman who stood by his side for the last 51 years. I love that woman. With all my heart. A true testament of unconditional love. This is part of what you go through. And, um, you know, we'll always be there for each other as long as we're together.